Hi guys, it's Sarah Campbell. Welcome to today's edition of Trojan Talk. Today I'm here with Ellie Fox, who plays the baker's wife, and Lily Kate Gwynn, who plays the witch in the upcoming production of Into the Woods. Nice. So thank you guys for joining me. Yeah, Thanks for having me here. Yes, absolutely. So for those who might not be familiar, can you kind of tell us what Into the Woods is all about? Absolutely. Um, so it is a patchwork musical. It is um, a bunch of different stories all coming together to create one very fun show. It centers around a baker and his wife, and they both very much want a child. And um, also other characters in it are Cinderella, who wants to go to the King's Festival, and Jack, who wants his cow to just produce milk and Little Red Riding Hood who just wants to go get some bread and visit her grandmother in the woods and all of their stories intertwine and all of these wishes that they have end up coming true as they meet each other along the way and then act two kind of follows the consequences of those wishes coming true and what happens after. So what kind of things can we expect from this show? Singing, dancing? So there's not a whole lot of dancing but we do a little bit of what our uh, incredible director and chair of our department calls choreography. Um, which is just fancy walking, but there is a lot <laughs> of singing. This is a Stephen Sondheim musical, and Stephen Sondheim is known for um, Follies and Sweeney Todd, and um, his music is so narrative. You have to be completely word perfect because there's so much information that's coming along in all of um, his songs. Uh, the show is pretty much basically sung through, but um, it intertwines all of these incredible like Grimm's fairy tales and he is such a lyrical genius. There's so many incredible dedicated fans to this show that you really want to um, give it the respect that it deserves. Um, so that comes with, like I said, memorizing every single word, being completely word perfect, mm -hmm. just as out of respect to both Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine and every fan of every generation of this show. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of pressure, but it's so worth it and the work has been so fun to do. Yes, it's been a really crazy ride. I know that I have been obsessed with this musical since it came out as a Disney movie when I was probably 12. Um, and all I wanted was to go see the movie. I learned all of the music ahead of time. And what I didn't know is that the musical that Disney made and the original musical are completely different. And while I'm so glad that I had that phase of my life where I was obsessed with the movie, um, it's made uh, being a part of this show so much sweeter um, as a college student, as an adult. Um, it's just been so fulfilling, but it's also really come to bite me in the butt because it's so different that we went to our first reading and I was like, no, that happens? <laughs> oh my goodness, that character exists? Like, it was, it was so crazy. And every actor has their own method, so I think that um, I can see the amazing work that she has put into her part and playing it so differently from all I've seen Meryl Streep play. <laughs> and hey, you're doing amazing. Yeah, big shoes to fill, for sure. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> So I think it's been a really, really great process. It's been a lot of hard work. Well, I'm sure all that hard work is going to show through when you guys open. And for those who want to get tickets, when are the run dates and how can people get their tickets? We are going to be running every weekend until April 28th. Yes. Yes, so that's Thursday through Sunday shows until April 28th. Yes, and the um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday shows start at 7 p.m. and um, the Sunday shows are at 2.30, so a Sunday matinee. And you can get tickets online. Um, if you're a student, you can um, use your student ID and go to the box office that's right next to the bookstore. It's open from 1 to 5. And you can show your student ID and get a half-off ticket. It sounds very exciting, very amazing show. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me on this edition of Trojan Talk.